we need to learn from other teachers. In one of my videos, a viewer called Olson Mania left a fantastic comment on classroom management rules. Let me quickly read it to you. What I've learned to do as a teacher, if others would like to utilize this in their classrooms, is simple. At the beginning of the school year, create rules that you as the teacher expect of your students. Five to ten rules that they can remember. Go over them. Then ask the students what they expect from you as the teacher. Another five to ten rules. If a student late on in the year becomes disruptive, instead of singling that student out, remind the class of your expectations of them. And then, as a class, ask them of their expectations of you. They should know them in order. After you all recite them and go over them, remind them that this helps everyone in the learning process and you must all follow the rules in order to create a safe and healthy learning environment for all. Then continue teaching. If the student persists, after you have given group work or individual work, then and only then should you walk over and speak to the student. Pull them aside and get onto their level. Ask them if there was something wrong that you as the teacher could do to help them better understand the lesson or the class rules. It usually helps not to point blame and make the student feel safe enough to communicate more with you. I hope this can help someone. That is fantastic advice on classroom management. Usually I tell teachers to be strict and to enforce the rules. If possible, don't give your students a platform in front of class, but take them aside. But I like this approach because often Teachers tell me, Eric, you know what, I, the students are already against me. I don't want to make them more angry. So in this way, you meet them halfway. You say, listen, here are some of my rules. Uh, give me some of your rules. Then, if a student steps over the line, you go to them and you say, listen, these are the rules that you agreed to. You made these rules. Is there a way that I can help you? This is a great way for you as a teacher to work with the students to kill them with kindness. Whenever they want to say something or act out, you just say, listen, these are the rules that we agreed to. Uh, you gave these rules to me and I just want to apply them fairly. Can you please work with us in class? And this is a kind approach that you can use in your class. Thank you so much for sharing these great ideas with us. If you have any good tips and tricks for classroom management that you use in your classroom, please put them in the comments below. I'm Eric from Edicude and I'll see you next time.